What classic Hollywood actor in the 1948 movie Macbeth was your favorite? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the world of classic cinema, few names shine as brightly as Macbeth, the 1948 film adaptation of William Shakespeare's timeless tragedy. But beneath the surface of this iconic production lie intriguing and lesser known details waiting to be discovered. As we delve into this cinematic gem, let's unearth some fascinating tidbits about the movie's making and the stars who brought it to life. One classic Hollywood actor who left an indelible mark in Macbeth is Laurence Olivier, who not only starred as the titular character, but also directed the film. His performance remains a topic of discussion and admiration for film enthusiasts and Shakespeare aficionados alike. But was he your favorite, or did another actor steal the show in your eyes? As we explore the lesser-known facets of Macbeth, you might be surprised to learn about the challenges of adapting Shakespeare's complex play for the silver screen, the innovative use of technicolor in a mostly black and white era, or the interesting anecdotes from behind the scenes. What fascinates you the most about this classic film? Now, let's not forget the personal touch. We're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. Did Macbeth hold a special place in your heart, or perhaps you stumbled upon it during a serendipitous moment? Share your thoughts and stories in the comments below, and let's keep the conversation alive. What classic Hollywood actor in the 1948 movie Macbeth was your favorite? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this film that fascinate you? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The 1948 movie Macbeth, directed by Orson Welles, featured an interesting mix of actors in its cast. One noteworthy aspect is that all three of the actors who portrayed the witches also took on other roles in the film. Peggy Weber played Lady Macduff, Lauren Tuttle appeared as both the gentlewoman and a male character named the first murderer, adding depth to the characters in the story. This casting choice brought a unique dimension to the film, showcasing the versatility of the actors. This fact about the multiple roles played by the actors in Macbeth provides a starting point for discussing the film's casting decisions and the impact they had on the overall production. It highlights the creative choices made by the director and the actors' abilities to tackle different characters within the same film. Orson Welles directed the 1948 movie Macbeth, and one interesting fact about this film is that it was shot in just 23 days on a budget of $700,000. This tight schedule and budget constraints undoubtedly posed challenges for the production. The film's limited resources and short filming period may have influenced the creative choices made by Wells and the cast, showcasing their ability to work efficiently and effectively within these constraints. Another noteworthy aspect of the film is that Orson Welles attempted to recruit Agnes Moorhead for the role of Lady Macbeth, but this effort was unsuccessful. Moorhead's involvement in the film could have brought a different dynamic to the character and the overall production. The casting decisions in Macbeth and the impact they had on the film are intriguing topics to explore. Additionally, Orson Welles made some notable changes to the character lines in the film. He assigned lines from different characters in the play to new characters in the film, such as the invention of the character A Holy Father to emphasize the struggle between religion and witchcraft. Many of Ross' lines in the play were given to the Holy Father, and Lady Macduff was also given an extra speech originally assigned to another character. These changes in character lines are worth examining to understand how they contributed to the film's interpretation of Shakespeare's play. In conclusion, the 1948 movie Macbeth, directed by Orson Welles, offers a fascinating glimpse into the challenges of its tight production schedule and budget. It also showcases the casting decisions and creative choices made by Wells, including the adaptation of character lines. Exploring these aspects provides valuable insights into the film's production and interpretation of the classic Shakespearean tragedy. Orson Welles' first successful production with his Mercury Theatre was the voodoo version of Macbeth in 1936, a groundbreaking and audacious adaptation that took Shakespeare's timeless tragedy to new heights. Set in the mysterious and exotic backdrop of Haiti, this unique rendition featured an all-black cast, offering a fresh and innovative take on the classic play. 
Despite the daring nature of the production and its overwhelmingly positive reception from most critics and audiences, there was one dissenting voice. Percy Hammond, a critic from the Herald Tribune, offered a notably weak review of the voodoo version of Macbeth. However, what followed next would become the stuff of legend and folklore in the world of theater. Wells, known for his charismatic and sometimes enigmatic persona, decided to embrace the mysticism and magic that permeated his production. He encouraged drummers to chant spells against Hammond, a curious and unconventional response to a critical review. Astonishingly, within a mere 48 hours of this unusual incident, Percy Hammond fell seriously ill and tragically passed away. The eerie circumstances surrounding his death only added to the mystique of Orson Welles and his production. This bizarre chapter in the history of the voodoo version of Macbeth, fraught with supernatural overtones, sets the stage for Welles' 1948 film adaptation of Macbeth. Directed by Welles himself, the movie offers a unique perspective on his approach to Shakespeare's classic tragedy, blending the otherworldly elements of the original production with the cinematic magic of his era. Orson Welles' legacy in the world of theater and film remains as enigmatic and captivating as ever. The 1948 movie Macbeth, directed by Orson Welles, offers a unique perspective on Shakespeare's classic tragedy. One interesting fact about the film is that the inexpensive Impressionist sets were designed by Orson Welles and Dan O'Hurley. These budget-friendly sets added a distinctive visual style to the movie, showcasing Wells' creative choices in bringing the story to the screen. The film also marked the debut of Jeanette Nolan, who played a role in this production. Her introduction to the world of cinema in Macbeth is a notable aspect of the film's history. Orson Welles' attempt to cast Vivian Lee as Lady Macbeth, with her then-husband Lawrence Olivier refusing permission, is another intriguing facet of the movie. Wells aimed for a seductive Lady Macbeth, and this casting choice would have added a different dynamic to the film. These aspects provide valuable insights into the production of the 1948 Macbeth film and the creative decisions made by Orson Welles. They reflect the blend of budget constraints, visual style, and casting choices that contributed to the movie's interpretation of Shakespeare's timeless tragedy. As we draw the curtains on our journey through the haunting world of the 1948 movie Macbeth, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique and personal connection you've forged with this cinematic masterpiece. This timeless film has stirred the depths of our emotions, plunged us into the complex depths of human ambition, and given us a glimpse of the darker corners of the human soul. Now, it's your turn. What memories, emotions, or thoughts has Macbeth awakened in you? Did you find yourself entranced by the magnetic performance of the cast, or perhaps the cinematography that transported you to a medieval Scotland filled with treacherous intrigues? Or maybe it was the enduring themes of power, fate, and the corrupting influence of unchecked ambition that left a lasting impression on your mind. We'd love to hear your insights and memories as they add another layer of richness to the collective experience of this film. Share your thoughts with us, and let's celebrate the magic of Macbeth together. Thank you for joining us on this cinematic exploration. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. Until we meet again in the world of storytelling, keep those memories of Macbeth close to your heart. And remember, the world of cinema is vast and ever-evolving, offering new adventures at every turn. Stay curious, stay engaged, and keep the movie magic alive. Until next time, this is your outro.